want to be 300 feet above our airport elevation, so that'll be 4,800. And this make it. So for final, either way, whatever, if you were making a right traffic pattern or a left, the final is always going to be the same. The what will always be the same? The final leg. Okay. So there's no like left final or right final. Okay. I made fun of it. You say that, not by me, but <laughs> people else. on the radio. <laughs> okay, looking good. So we're at 4,800 and our airspeed's just a little bit low. Typically we want to be about 60 knots for this. Pitch that nose forward and then raise the collective just a little bit. Otherwise we'll start diving down right oh. And for this approach, let's go to Bravo 3. So okay. airplane right there is on Bravo 1. Two is after that and then three will be the next one. Controls. You have controls. Yeah, controls. Yeah, and you're going to just feel along. No problem. Um, and this one will just do a nice normal approach. So a normal approach typically lines up with about the middle of our compass. That's kind of the angle we want. So coming up right about here, that's starting to look like a normal approach angle. So I just initiate this approach by lowering the collective, getting a little bit of right pedal. And then I'm also letting my airspeed start to come back nice and slowly. And I literally just follow this approach angle all the way to the spot. If you imagine a, a zip line going straight there, sure, stay on that zip line. So here I need to start slowing down a little bit more, so I'm just pulling aft. And I'm also reducing our collective even more. A little more aft cycle, trying to really slow down. And now I don't want to be below knots and have a descent rate greater than 300 feet per minute. So I'm really looking at that VSI. As we start coming into this spot, I need to start raising in the collective and adding left pedals simultaneously. I'll keep us pointed down the taxiway. And then we just pull into a hover, what, this is what you've been practicing the whole time. I know what an approach looks like. Uh, so feel the approach, so you're low, lowering collective, so you're, you're descending, and then you're slowly lowering your speed. You're descending, at what point do you want to make sure you're, you're not going more than 300 feet per minute? If you're less than 30 knots, you can't go. Okay, because then you'll lose your power. And we, or, or what's that word that you called that you don't want to lose? So the big uh, issue with having a large descent rate and a low speed is you can get into vortex ring state. Oh, yes, and we, t we talked about that last time. So, so, you, so you have to be really, really cautious of that. Once you get below 30 knots, make sure you're not descending too fast. Yep, exactly. Another pedal turn, looking again for anyone taking off. We take off, we check our gauges. So we have one, two, three in the green. All of our warning lights are out. Yep. Our tacks are still in the green. Our car, Pete, we don't need it today, and our fuel is good. Okay. And then we can go.